Hello and welcome back to Race Gal. I'm Dan Sugano, aka FPV Skittles, and today we're going to be building track number seven, which was created by me, FPV Skittles. So for this track, you're going to need all 20 of your sections and a full Race Gal set. So as always, let's start from the bottom and build up. You're going to want to save uh, your two four ways and one of your five ways for the top level. So make sure to save those. And you want to use your other three five ways on the bottom level here. So right here. <laughs> and then on this one, this track, it's going to be important to put your support feet in. So I suggest taking your longest support foot, whatever that one is, putting it on this five way here. Now uh, next, we're going to want to build up the middle level. Alright, now we're going to want to cap off this level. And we're going to want to build the next level up. So, your four ways, you're going to want to use one four way here, like this. And then another four way here, like this. Pull this thing up. And then your five way here, I think the best way to put it is like this. I suggest putting this on as one piece here. You're going to want an elbow probably on the bottom, a T on the top, and connect these all together at the same time. Then again, you're going to want to use two sections at the same time with an elbow between them to create a horizontal gate. And then finally, your last section, do this as a pole on top here. Now, you want to try to space these out so they're a gate space above. Obviously, if you have extra sections, that will help do your spacing, but it's not required. Just try to get them vertical and line up. Alright, so if you use a standard race gal set to set up track number seven, you don't have to do any additional spacing. But if you use your own gates, you need to make sure that the horizontal gate is at least 56 inches above the ground. Alright, now let's go to the fly through so you know how to run track number seven. Here's the fly-through for Race Gow track number 7, created by FPV Skittles. So you're going to start facing the start-finish gate away from all the other obstacles. And as always, your time starts as you pass through the start-finish gate. And on this track, you're going to take an immediate left as you pass through the start-finish gate. And you're going to come around, line up gate number 2, straight through that. Then under or around the elevated gate and pass through that the opposite direction. Then you're going to come up around the pole and then dive through the horizontal gate. And you're going to come around opposite direction on the start finish, slalom the middle and then the other gate number two. This time you're going to pop up and through the horizontal gate, come around and go through the elevated gate, then circle back around to the start and that's one lap. So let's pick it up a bit, under around, around the pole, dive through ball in this area, pop up through, around, and back to the start. So, when you dive through the gate, you must come out the open area. You're not allowed to, I'll do it on the next lap. You are not allowed to do a dive like this. You come around and toilet pull down and go over the gate. That is not allowed. You must when you go dive through the gate, come around the pole, you must go through one of these, you must come out this open area here between the start finish gate and the elevated gate. So you dive through, you come out this direction, through the start gate backwards, slalom through there, pop up, around the elevated gate and back to the start. Alright, hope that makes sense. Good luck and happy whooping on this one everyone. up a little bit.
Nice little run there. Alright. Hope everyone enjoys the track I created. Woke up with a headache and some neck pain. Cup of coffee, need the caffeine. Well, I don't know the last time I was in time. Out in the fast lane, the lady asked if I've been having me a nice day. Oh, yeah. I said that I'm fine, guess that I'm alive. Cuz, yeah, I'm fine. If F is for feeling overwhelmed, then I is for I'm not alright. Yeah, I'm fine. If N is for not being able to sleep me for every night. Yeah, I'm fine. Finally feeling the pressure of keeping my feelings inside. Yeah, I'm fine. Well, maybe I'm not, and I just need to tell someone I'm not alright. Do you wonder how it feel to let somebody in to finally see the real you? Me too. I hide behind the mask, but it's getting pretty see through. Cause I'm so tired of trying to pretend like I can do it on my own. When in the end, I'm sick and tired of feeling alone. I wish there was some way that you could read my mind when I say I'm. Good luck and happy moving. I get to choose what I do, I'm like a weapon dash. Yeah, I'm fine. Finally feeling the pressure of 